Hi guys, today on Overland Obsessed, we're just gonna take a real quick look at the Black Wolf Mantis Ultralight 2 hiking tent. It's only about 1.8 kilos. Um, it's just a good backup option that we like to carry. Uh, we'll talk about in a later video sort of more the reasons why we actually carry it but today it's just going to show um, a quick look at it setting it up packing it down and the pack size of it unlike a swag or something like that this doesn't have your mattress or bedding sort of inside of it we're actually looking at a few different types of uh, inflatable mattresses at the moment but we're looking at the climate static v mattresses and the thermarest range so if you've got any suggestions on what are good um, just let us know in the comments below because we're going to be buying a couple of those soon okay so i'll just set this up and take you through the tent so you just have a bag of pegs with the tent these are your poles for the arches on the tent inside the bag got the waterproof fly and the tent itself So the poles that come with the tent are really easy. Uh, they're all magnetic, so they sort of click into themselves pretty much by themselves. So this black one is for the foot end. It's noticeably smaller. Just goes at the narrow end when you've laid it out. Okay, so that's just the main uh, tent with the two hoops set up over the top of it and you can actually use it like that without the fly if it was a really clear night uh, and a hot night just to get better ventilation through because all that is just mesh but with the fly it actually has a vestibule either side so it gives you a little bit of extra cover over the doorways in case you want to leave your shoes or bag or other gear outside and it is raining so you've got pretty large doorway on either side and ventilation at the head and feet you can also tell which end the hoops go through they're colored red for the red pole and these tags are the same Okay guys, so that's the tent with the fly on, uh, with one vestibule just rolled up to get access to the doorway. So you can leave one or two of these up to actually get a lot more airflow. You can see down the foot end there's an air vent as well as up at the head end. And the whole way around this fly, it's actually made to sit just sort of up off the ground to let water run off, but also airflow through there. Or you can obviously have it fully bunkered down. So it does come with a lot of guy lines already attached, so you can really peg this down and make it quite sturdy and strong wind. But for something that only weighs 1.8 kilos, it's Pretty amazing how strong it is really. Okay guys, so that was just a quick look at the Mantis 2 tent that we've got. Uh, we actually bought this one from Tent World a while ago, uh, just as sort of a backup option. Uh, we're gonna do a video on exactly the reasons why we carry an extra tent as well as our rooftop tent on our car. But it just gives you an idea of what is out there uh, that doesn't take up much room or much weight. This is really light and it all packs down into the little stuff sack that you saw earlier and it actually compresses a lot more than the size it is so you can really sort of 
squish it down and put it away somewhere in the car, out of the way. It's a really good way just to have a backup option or just as your solo tent. Uh, just for two people, it is good having those side vestibules as a bit of extra cover for your gear as well. Okay, so thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next Friday.